I'm Mike Bowers. I'm Director of Photography for the Global Mail. I'm snug into an early opener to crunch the numbers with the man who this time, like the rest of the Labor Party, is inside the tent pissing in, Jack the Insider. Jack? Jack. The truth is, I also feel very uncomfortable. It's all a bit challenging, isn't it, I think? Oh, it's very stressful times uh, for everyone, I suppose, but uh, not a lot of us are getting a lot of sleep. It doesn't really matter to Kevin Rudd. He hasn't actually slept for the last seven years. <laughs> He's fine to actually call a press conference at 1.30 in the morning. That's exactly right. He is going to hold probably another dozen before Monday morning and uh, <laughs> most of them will be between 3 and 5 in the morning. <laughs> The photos of him, uh, he actually doesn't look too bad, does he? Oh, look, he, he, he's sleepless for the week, and <laughs> he just doesn't need it. Sleepless in DC. Uh, brushes away a few invisible spiders, but other than that, you wouldn't notice. <laughs> uh, and of course, there is you know, the beautiful Kadelka cartoon. I understand that John Kadelka wasn't all that happy. He'd already filed a cartoon, and then he had to file another one because Kevin had <laughs> challenged yeah. in the wee hours. So if uh, there's a bit of a go, a bit of a dig at Kevin uh, Rudd, yeah. uh, you would, from the cartoonist, yeah. you would understand why. There'll yeah. be no no honeymoon cartoon <laughs> for you, Kevin, should you win on Monday. Uh, just a beautiful Mark Knight who's uh, picked up on those little stick figures that everyone's got on the back of their car. My dysfunctional family. He's got me, Julia, of course, on the back of C1, Wayne, Greens, Independence, Speaker, and uh, a lovely little Kevin with an axe in his head. Uh, yes, that is the ultimate dysfunctional family. In fact, if the Labor caucus moved into your house next door, you'd take out AVOs on a lot of them. Yeah, call the cops, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, there's no no pain like labour pain, except perhaps probably squeezing a pimple <laughs> on the end of your nose. <laughs> this particular cartoon, indeed. Very deeply disturbing imagery of uh, Julia with uh, Kevin as a pimple on the end of her nose, and, uh, and Simon going, go on, do it. Yes, you've got to give that a good squeeze, and give that a good squeeze, and it'll just come out, there'll be buckets of pus all over the place, the mirror will be a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> deeply, deeply disturbing. Troubling, very industry. troubling. Rod Clemens done a beautiful little filling Julia's shoes. Mmm, surprisingly comfortable. Well, she did swipe them from the previous incumbent. Should there be a change of Prime Ministership, do you think it'll be a smooth transition? I think it would be a very, very ugly, ugly transition. But the other side of it is that Kevin comes up short, as looks likely, that this thing would just roll on and on and on until, possibly until his toenails grow long enough to fit in those shoes. <laughs> You wouldn't know it, but the Gonski report was released this week, Jack, and um, Dyson, I just felt, has picked up on this beautifully with um, the two kids fighting in the playground while Joe and, uh, and Tony Abbott are fight, fight, fight. Just unconcealed <laughs> joy at the government beating the crap out of each other. Indeed, David Gonski's an eminent Australian, of course, but the, his name has just been so suitable for the whole week because one or the other of these next week will be Gonski. They say politics makes strange bedfellows, nothing more so than Queensland politics, and the Queensland election underway has certainly made some very strange bedfellows. Alan Jones, uh, Bob Catter, uh, in front of Green Signs and Anti-Coal Action Alliance and... This is a magnificent photo. For all of those reasons, these people, if they ever climbed over Alan Jones' fence, he'd, you know, release the hounds. Yeah. Normally. Yeah, but there right. he is as their champion. But, gee whiz, he's having a bit of a broadcast a... news oh, moment yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no, he's definitely uh, losing some fluids. I, I tell you what, that has got to be the worst wet T-shirt competition I've ever seen. Rick, You'd mate. want your money back, wouldn't you? Jack, how are the numbers going for you? Well, I haven't got the shoes and socks off, Mike, so I've got somewhere between zero and a larger number. I'm uh, in a position to offer you the Talking Pictures portfolio should my tilted Cassidy come off. I'm interested. Yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk. Well, in good faith, I'll let you throw back to the man. Barry, you have my wholehearted support for now. <laughs>